Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stem separation revolution. Say goodbye to muddy cluttered tracks and hello to crystal clear stem tracks with Stemverter 3, the tool that's making audio engineers everywhere look like they actually know what they're doing. Just a week ago, Man, no matter what I do, I just can't seem to get this right. It's because you're not using Stemverter 3 and you uh, suck. Oh, uh, you're me. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know. I'm sorry, it's, what? You're not using Stemverter 3. What's that? You don't know what Stemverter? Jeez, <sighs> okay. But Look. you're... Yeah, what? this is free. I know it's a little weird. Let's get over it. Okay, I got to show okay. you Okay. Is that cool? Good. Yeah. I got a project file. Did you get it? Okay, please open it up. Where are you from exactly? Don't ask questions you don't need the answers to. Okay, good. So, yeah, I sent you the project file. Yeah, right here. Uh, good. Let's open it okay. up. Are you using clean acapellas? No. Okay, so you're gonna get it now. Listen to this. Oh, okay. Right? Right? That actually sounds, that actually sounds a lot better. It's like, it's amazing, dude. You gotta yeah. try this, okay? It's gonna change everything. Yeah. All right, it's gonna change everything we do. So get on okay. this, fix it up, do right. Thanks. Okay? Oh, and shower, please. Thanks. All right, so if you live under a rock or just plain out aren't listening to DJ News, stem separation and manipulation is going to be the biggest creative tool in 2003 for DJs. With Serato jumping into the live stem separation world, the competition for the creative is higher than it's ever been. But real-time separation can have its benefits as well as its downfalls. You see, live applications can't always produce the best quality acapellas or instrumentals. It can also limit you to how you use your track, unless you're making multiple beat jumps or using other applications and expansions like Serato Flip, not to mention how much CPU power it takes to create these stems in real time. So. What are the alternatives? Stem separators have been around for a while, but quite frankly, they never did a great job of giving you a clean separation. And I have to tell you, there have been remixes that the concepts were awesome, but the execution just wasn't possible because technology couldn't keep up. But now Stemverter 3 makes those other separation tools sound like they're still using cassette tapes. Speaking of others, there are quite a few, ranging from as low as $30 all the way to $400. Obviously with all stem separation tools, quality does change with the increase in price, but should you have to pay an arm and a leg for great quality? Well, thanks to Stemverter, no. Coming in at only 79 US, it becomes the most affordable high-end stem separator of its kind. The better separators on the market either require a subscription, credits, or even worse, a huge upfront cost. This time you have all the control and it comes with lifetime access with licenses for up to two computers. So how would you use this? Well, that's the beauty of it. It's really up to you. There's so many applications that can be used for. As a pro DJ, I use it in live aspects where I can create live mashups with acapellas and instrumentals. It also allows me to create my own edits, including acapella ins, outs, clap ins, or just simple mashups. For producers, you can separate stems to remix or sample. This gives producers a huge leg up when it comes to the creative, having to do less filtering and less processing. Ultimately, it's becoming the biggest Swiss army knife in the music world, and if you're not using it, you're going to be left behind. So let's jump in and show you the options of what it can do. Immediately, you can tell it's a very simple application and doesn't require much thought. It kind of resembles an Apple Finder, where you have a file box where your audio tracks will be loaded. You can load up to 10 tracks to be queued for processing. You can either drag and drop your files from your DVS or Finder, or simply click the plus icon and import the tracks from a designated location. To the right, there are five buttons you can work with. Acapella, instrumental, drums, bass, and other. When you look down, you'll also see a few options. You'll see a toggle switch that says speed and quality. This represents the pass-through process of the tracks. 
faster will give you a more raw separation doing a pass through of only one time. This is for those who are looking to create fast workflows or are looking to test tracks before actually fully committing to the project. Quality is a four times pass through, creating a cleanest separation you can imagine. Now, when you're using Stemverter, it requires a pretty heavy load on your computer's processors, so it's not recommended to use while DJing in a live atmosphere. When using speed, you're going to sacrifice some quality for the quick processing. I would personally use this if I'm testing certain tracks or trying to put together my own mashup before committing to making that mashup. See, quality takes longer, but it definitely is the way to go when you want to make high quality stems. A single track can take anywhere between two to four minutes per track on an Apple M1 chip and 10 tracks took approximately 16 minutes for me. Obviously, these results will vary based on the type of machine you're running and the amount of stems you're trying to process. This may seem like a long time, but when you have access to endless amounts of stems, patience is worth it. Now, to show you how good it sounds, I went ahead and extracted vocals from this track from four different applications. Take a listen to how Stemverter holds up against them. Sometimes all I think about is you Late nights in the middle of June He always been fecking me out Can't make you happy up now Sometimes all I think about is you Late nights in the middle of June He always been fecking me out Can't make you happy up now Sometimes all I think about is you Late nights in the middle of June he always been fecking me out Can't make you happy up now Sometimes all I think about is you Late nights in the middle when I first took this baby for a test drive, I was immediately floored by the acapella quality. I use acapella loops and intros and outros for my performances to really wow my crowd with scratching, pitch cueing, beat jumping, and other performance concepts. Having high quality acapellas is super useful. And instrumentals can also play a major factor if you're trying to make edits or samples for tone play usage or mashups. Now, obviously some knowledge of music production and editing is required to put some of these practices to use, but ideally these are the basics and when making edits. Simply understanding how a DAW grid works with pitch warping, this is really gonna be enough for you to make your own custom edits. I have to say, I think Seaflow Inc. has done an absolutely incredible job of this application. And quite frankly, I think you're crazy for only offering for 80 bucks. I mean, for lifetime access, it that's insane. But hey, look, they're doing something amazing for the music creative community. And hey, if you're already using Stemverter 3, comment below on what you're using it for and how it's helped you. And if you found this video helpful or entertaining, hit these little buttons down below because I'm really trying to bring some really cool videos for 2023 and help upcoming DJs enhance their performances. As always, guys, keep learning, keep growing, keep rocking out. I'll see you next time.